He's turning on it. He's turning on it. He ate it. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> He's fired up. He's fired up. Are you kidding me? Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back or to the channel and thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. In this video, I'm actually doing something a little bit different. I know I've been posting a lot of saltwater videos lately. We're actually going freshwater fishing. My family and I are headed down to South Florida. We're gonna be catching some peacocks. We're gonna be using shiners and a small J hook. If you guys are not familiar with peacock bass, they're actually a non-native species we have in Florida. We're actually lucky to have them though. They're a lot of fun. They don't cause too much destruction as far as non-native species goes compared to the Muscovy ducks, the iguanas. So they're they're not terribly invasive or anything like that, but they are a blast to go catch. So if you guys haven't done that before, I highly recommend trying it. It's a ton of fun. And we're gonna go down there right now. You guys are gonna wanna stick around. Let's get to it. All right, guys, so we just pulled up to the snakehead pond. There are some giant peacocks here right now. So we're gonna leave a chatterbait tied on for snakeheads, but we're also gonna be using a little J hook and some shiners on these peacocks because nothing loves a shiner more than a peacock. So hopefully we can get some peacocks and a snakehead. Stick around guys, let's get to it. Oh my gosh, there's so many peacocks right here. Got him? Oh, oh. I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. Are we doubled up? Oh my gosh, this one's a, this is a good one. Please stay hooked, please stay hooked. Oh my gosh, oh boy. This is the one right here. Oh, get out of that, get out of that. What are you doing in there? Oh, he's out, there we go, there we go. Sweet. That was like, oh, that's probably a little three pounder, maybe two and a half. Come here, bud. Here we go. That's the male we've been trying to get. How pretty that fish is. Calm down. Stop spinning. There we go. There we go. That's first two peacocks of the trip. Let's let these guys go. There he goes. All right, let's see if we can't get some more. All right, there's a good sized peacock just sitting on top right here. We're gonna grab a shiner and just plop it on his head and see what happens. I kind of already have an idea of what's gonna, oh, there's an even bigger one right here. Hmm, decisions. Oh, let's go with this one, he's a little closer. Oh yeah, yup, yup, he's all over it. He's all over it. There he is. <laughs> Oh my gosh, these things are so strong. It is, it is unreal. It is crazy. Anybody who doesn't enjoy catching these, I don't even know what's wrong with you. These are so much fun. It's not even like giant, like it's a good one. That's just not, it's not giant. Come here, bud. Look at that, a little like two pounder, if that. Look at that guy. Look how pretty these things are. Little uh, little J hook right on top. There we go. Second peacock of the trip. Still at the snakehead pond, but no snakeheads. All right, Brett's got another peacock over there. We're gonna send this guy on his way. Probably look like a little two pounder, but still fun. There he goes. All right, we pretty much cleared all the peacocks out of that pond, so we're gonna head to the next one. I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, we're at the next pond. I'm sure you guys have seen this pond before, and hopefully we're gonna catch some more peacocks. We've got a good amount of shiners left, so stick around, guys, let's get to it. Yeah, you weren't kidding, that's a good one. He's turning on it, he's turning on it, he ate it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that's a big one. Oh my, he's in the grass. Oh, come here, buddy. That's a, that's a healthy one. Oh my gosh. That took all of like 30 seconds. Flipping. Wow. Yeah, that's a good one. That's, that's probably a three pounder, I would say. Sweet. Hook right in the bottom jaw. There we go. Don't shake, please don't shake. All right, yeah, that's, 
that's a good one right there. It's probably a three pounder male. All right, let's let this guy go. That is a good, oh, he was ready. Okay, goodbye. Wow, that's a good peacock. Okay, so we're just gonna grab the bucket and we're gonna keep walking along this uh, bank over here and pretty much just looking for them while it's sunny because once the sun goes away, it becomes really hard to find them. But while it's sunny, like I said, it's easy. So we're gonna keep walking. Hopefully we can find some. Oh my gosh, yep, I just found a big one. That's a good one right there. Probably a three plus. Oh yeah, that's, that's a fat one. Oh my. Oh, he spooked. He spooked. Hold on, he's coming back. He's all, oh. Oh, he's, he's behind it. He was on it. Oh, that's a different one. That's a different one. There's more than one. There's more than one. I think he got it. There he is. There he is. Oh my gosh. These things are so strong. This is even the big one. This is the little, little female. There we go. That's it, dude. That was insane. He literally ate it off the surface. Calm down, calm down. Oh my gosh, that was so sick. All right, let's see if we can flip it. Oh yeah, that's another good one. That's probably a three pounder. There you go, that's probably a three pound peacock right there. That's awesome. Let's let this guy go. Just found another one. Gonna grab a shiner. This shouldn't take too long. I love it when I say that and then it takes forever. Oh, there's another, oh my gosh. Oh, they're, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. He should eat this really fast. Oh yeah, yeah, look, oh, no, little one, no. The little one came out of nowhere and ate it. You gotta be kidding. Look at this squeaker. He just ate my shiner. That one just ate my shiner. Get out of here, man. There we go. Let's grab another shiner and try to get that bigger one. How does he not crush this? Oh, 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 the shiners are so smart. They are so smart. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, he's still here, he's still here, he's still here. He's fired up, he's fired up. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, there's another big one with him. My gosh, I don't know where he went. He was right with mine. He came out, oh, he's right there. That's not it. That's not it? Come here, just another like three pounder. His is bigger actually, his is way bigger. Look at that. Another double up on the peacocks. Sweet. All right, let's let him go. That's like four. Yeah, yours is probably like three and a half, four. Mine's probably like three. All right. Let's let him go. Dang. Well, it's about the storm, but we did catch a good amount of peacocks, so. And that's right, guys. Of course, the weather had to turn for the worst. It looked like it was getting a little bit stormy. The wind was picking up and it was just a good time to head out. We did have a blast though. We caught probably, I would say a close dozen peacocks between the three of us. So we had a blast doing it. It's always a ton of fun. But before we end the video, we do have to feed some fish and no, I'm not talking about moose. While we were down there, we actually decided to go to 13th street fisheries and they had some amazing food as well as they had tarpon to feed. So if you guys are in the area, in Fort Lauderdale area, 13th street fisheries, you can go there, get some great food and feed the tarpon. It's better than Robbie's in my opinion, because it's less crowded, less touristy, but we're gonna get into some tarpon feeding B-roll right now. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Look at the snook. 